think you are outnumbered. Really? You can't even count the number of people here. Meatbag, that's where you're wrong, because you see, he told us to just come over here and see what happens. <laughs> so please, entertain. Good luck, me back. Girl, you seem so mad. What's wrong? Are you just upset that you oh, lost? God. That I lost? Katie, I didn't lose. You cheated. You are a terrible champion because you can't win a fair fight. You have to cheat to get above anybody else. You are oh. a terrible oh. Bo James here, and as you saw at the beginning of the program, recapping from last week, things are getting heated up as we get closer and closer to the summer. And speaking of the summer, we're going to kick it off June the 11th at the King Sport Farmers Market Pavilion with the Super Summer Sizzler. It's going to be a huge night of action. We're going to be telling you about that here today. You're going to see a new special on the Southern States Ladies Champion Katie O. Oh My Gannon, and in the main event today. Dreamweaver Wayne Moxie with Andy Optimal in his corner against Bruiser Bob, the wild and unpredictable Bruiser Bob, with Jason Blythe in his corner in a trash can match. The only way to win this match is to stuff your opponent in a trash can. Before we get to matches, before we get to the special videos, Joe Wheeler has a special word about the Super Summer Sizzler, so let's go across over here to Joe and hear what he's got to say. Wrestling fans, you don't want to miss it. Sunday, June the 11th, back at the Farmer's Market Pavilion with Southern States Wrestling Super Summer Sizzler Tour. It's going to be a great night. Tickets are on sale now, and uh, you, you, you don't want to miss it. Um, there's something going on over here I think we need to take a look at. If we can swing around. that we don't need any of your help. We got a trash can match to take off, care of. So get out of our way, meat bag. Come on, kid. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Tom Pritchard, head coach for Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy. And while some people will be looking for wrestling schools near me, that search may not be exactly what you're looking for, or may not be the right fit. Here at JPWA, we train five nights a week, pretty much four hours a night. And we work on character developments, promo, in-ring skills. We cover all aspects of professional wrestling. So you may find searching for wrestling schools near me might turn up a lot of names. You might want to remember two nights a week, three nights a week versus five nights a week covering all aspects of professional wrestling. Give the Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy a try. Check it out. Go to our website, jpwrestlingacademy.com. Find out. It just might be the right fit for you. Don't miss this. Sunday, June the 11th, 6.15 p.m., 
Farmers Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Southern States Wrestling presents the Super Summer Sizzler. Two and a half hours of action featuring all the stars of Southern States Wrestling Legacy. Two big title matches. Don't miss all the hard-hitting, high-flying action. Sunday, June the 11th, it's the Super Summer Sizzler. Farmers Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Make your plans now to be there. Tickets on sale starting May the 1st through Eventbrite. Make sure you follow our social media pages for updates. Don't you dare miss it. Be there. Jacob Collins from Whiteburg, Kentucky. <laughs> I heard that you were the fan pick of the week, but more so than that, I heard that you like me, Bruiser Bob, and my old lady love. But, so I'll tell you what, tune in to the program, because you never know what I'm going to do next, especially what he tells me to do. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. There you saw our Fan of the Week segment. And remember, if you want to be put in the drawing to become the Fan of the Week, you have to be a subscriber to our channel right here. And then all you have to do is comment your name, where you're watching from, and who your favorite wrestler is to go in the drawing. You're drawn out. That wrestler will give you a special message right here on Legacy. Now, before we get to our main event, last week we saw her sneak attack, spray something in Celeste's eyes, and do a number on her at the ringside, but Katie O'Megan in the Southern States Women's Champion sent us a special video. She said she is getting ready for the Super Summer Sizzler on June the 11th at the Farmer's Market Pavilion in Kingsport, Tennessee. Let's take a look at that special video and then let's go right into our main event. main event and I'm telling you I can already feel it it's going to get out of hand it's going to get wild as Bob comes across the ring big chop from Wayne Moxie it's a trash can match pinfalls do not matter submissions do not matter and Moxie's just laying the leather right to bruiser Bob here the only way to win your opponent is to stuff him in a trash can we have seen Bob and Jason Stick a few people in trash cans the last few months. Wayne Moxie finally at the anniversary spectacular that you can watch on the Southern States Wrestling Network had had enough of it. And he is just pounding Bruiser Bob in the corner. Little tribute to Dusty Rhodes there. Moxie at the anniversary had enough and he came out to stop him from putting Andy Optimal in the trash can and Bob is down in the corner. You can see him trying to shake the cobwebs off. It's not working, and Moxie coming right after him. Bob with a big knee. Big backdrop from Moxie. You see the pain on Bruiser Bob's face. Drop kick, and out he goes to the floor. Jason Blythe still in the sling. Jason going to have to have some surgeries on that injured shoulder. Trying to get his man, Bruiser Bob, his partner up. Moxie coming out the other side, coming around. Bob's picking the trash can up and introduces it to Wayne Moxie right there, right in the face. Went to put him in the trash can. Moxie came out of it. Now Moxie with a trash can. Sends it in to Bob. Back in Jason Blythe off. Jake Booth right there. There you see Andy Optimal telling Jason to stay out of it. Big punch from Bob. 
And another punch from Bob. Bob repays the favor right into the leg with that trash can. Again, the only way to win is to stuff your opponent in a trash can. Bob going, he was going right there to try to throw Moxie in that can, but it didn't work. This is an all out fight. There's not gonna be any scientific wrestling here. There's not gonna be any kind of classic wrestling match here. It's just going to be a fight until one of them is in that can and Bob missed with an elbow. Bruiser Bob, he's wild, he's unpredictable. Everywhere I go, people ask me about Bruiser Bob. What you see on this program every week is what you get with this man. Nice reversal from Bob. And a big clothesline that drives Moxie back into the corner. Was going for the snapmare, changed his mind. Going for a suplex. And Bob in control, now you see the pain on Wayne Moxie's face. Bruiser Bob just ripping at his hair and face. Now he's biting him. It's legal. Jake's still trying to get him to quit. Here's the job, hard job of a referee in a match like this. Yes, there's no disqualification, but we're trying to save injuries here. We're trying to keep people from getting hurt. So the referee is gonna show some authority to try to make sure that somebody doesn't have to go to the hospital. And again, mocks the end of the corner. Bruiser Bob, and I'm gonna tell you about Bob. As I've said, wild and unpredictable, but he has a mean streak in him, and when he gets an opponent in trouble, he enjoys beating on him. Well-placed fist right in the middle of the back right there. Follows it up with a backbreaker. That in itself may be enough to beat somebody in a regular wrestling match. Oh, now he's just rubbing his face with his boot, pushing it against that rope, that cable inside of that hose. Now he's choking him. Bob enjoys this. This is just a regular night for him, a regular afternoon fighting somebody. Now he gets the snap mirror. And just kick Wayne Moxie right in the face. He looked at Jason. I think Jason's wanting him to go for the trash can, but I don't think Bob is ready to try to end this thing. I think he's having too much fun. And Moxie's in trouble, and he's biting him again. He is biting him right above the eyebrow or right in the eyebrow. He enjoys this. He enjoys pain, inflicting pain. I believe he enjoys having pain inflicted on himself. Moxie fighting back. Fighting back. Bruiser Bob now in a little trouble. He's got him rocking. He's got him rolling in another tribute to Dusty Rhodes. Elbow to the top of the head. Cameraman trying to get in there, and Bob down in the corner once again. He didn't go all the way to the mat that time. The ropes held him up. Oh, my goodness. Bob able to get out of the way, and Wayne Moxie went right through the ropes and hit that steel ring post. And now Bob's calling for the trash can. I believe this, is, this may be it. Oh, Moxie's hurt. You can see him favoring that shoulder. They may get him in the can right here and punched him right in the shoulder blade. Moxie's holding on, he don't want to go in there. Bob is trying to get him, he's got his head in there, you got to get the body in there. Fighting back, we got to take a break, we'll be right back. Oh my goodness, another shot. Don't miss this. Sunday, June the 11th, 6.15 p.m. Farmers Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Southern States Wrestling presents the Super Summer Sizzler. Two and a half hours of action featuring all the stars of Southern States Wrestling Legacy. Two big title matches. Don't miss all the hard-hitting, high-flying action. Sunday, June the 11th, 
It's the Super Summer Sizzler. Farmers Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Make your plans now to be there. Tickets on sale starting May the 1st through Eventbrite. Make sure you follow our social media pages for updates. Don't you dare miss it. Be there. We're back from the break, and it's been all Bruiser Bob, but he's not, okay. Nope, Moxie's still holding on. I would say during the break, it has been all Bruiser Bob, but he has not been able to get Moxie into that trash can. Watching on Legacy every week is great, but to see all the action, you got to be there live. Sunday evening, June the 11th, Farmer's Market Pavilion, the Super Summer Sizzlers, he just drove an elbow to his neck and just ran his face in to the canvas on the outside. Moxie is in some serious trouble and has been trying to get away from Bob. And Bob's gonna, well, I thought Bob was gonna pull him right back out. Moxie kicks him to the side of the face. Very smart by Wayne Moxie, get back in the ring. You cannot get put in that trash can if you're in the ring. These two are just trying to knock each other out. They're trying to prove a point to one another. They have had trouble, and now Bob misses and goes into the corner. Big chop from Wayne Moxie. These two men have had trouble with each other ever since they began their training at the Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy. We've told you about Bob being banned from the Wrestling Academy. We have seen incidents that happened there. Big clothesline from Bruiser Bob. Every time you think you've got this man right where you want him, he is able to turn it around on you. Bob calling for his chain. He calls it his lady love. It is legal. Jake's telling him to put it down and put it up. Again, trying to save maybe possible injury, but there's nothing he can do about it. He can use this chain and put Moxie in the trash can if he's able to knock him out, choke him out with it, who knows what. And he missed with the big shot with the chain and a big punch from Wayne Moxie. And the chain is on the mat. Moxie kicks it out of the way. Can Moxie be going for his finisher right here? Oh, he just drove him straight down on the chain. Moxie hurt himself, but Bob went head first into that chain. He's telling Andy to get a trash can. I believe Bruiser Bob is knocked out. Jason Blythe is not happy about this, but there's nothing he can really do. I, Bob is not moved other than being pulled. I believe Bruiser Bob is completely out right here. And he, he, he can pull him off of that ring. You gotta watch out. What is Jason reaching in these? What is he doing there? Never turn your back on your opponent, Wayne Moxie. He's got what he's got powder or something. What is hey? What is going on? Oh, the he just threw the powder, but Moxie moved and it went into the referee's eyes. Jake Booth got the powder. Now Jason Blythe in to that ring post and he's down. Bob is going in that trash. Bruiser Bob is out. And oh my goodness, there's Lord. Lord Murphy Costigan and Daniel Richards. 
Richard still upset from a couple of weeks ago how Andy Optimal embarrassed him. Murphy Costigan doing a number. Murphy putting him in a trash can. Andy's going in a trash can. These two guys have no business out here. The referee has not seen it. Bob is out. He don't know what has happened. I think Jason Blythe is out on the other side. Both men are in trash cans. Yeah, Jason's still down on the floor hurt. Jake Booth turns around and sees it after he's able to get his vision cleared and calls for the bell. Bruiser Bob, who is unconscious in the ring, starting to move for the first time in a few minutes, is the winner. What carnage here. We got bodies all over the place. Costigan and Richards had no business out here. Here's a replay. They were putting Bob in that trash can. He's a, And out of nowhere, they come and stick their nose in other people's business again, something Daniel Richards is real good at. I don't think Bob and Jason know what has happened here. I'm not even sure that Andy and Moxie know who jumped them. My goodness. Me? You sure I want you? Huh? But, yeah, you know, we won! We won! Wrestling fans, I'll tell you what, it's going all down next week as you have got your shot at Murphy Coskin for the Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Daniel Richards is going to be in his corner, but I understand you've got a surprise for everybody in your corner, none other than the king of Kingsport, Bo James. It's all on the line next week. Yeah, that's right. I was sick of Murphy's games, his tricks, stacking the numbers against everybody he was in that ring with. So next week, it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Marty Clay, Murphy Costigan, and the best man is coming away with that Southern States title, and that's going to be Marty Clay. Fans, you don't want to miss it all next week. There you heard from Marty Clay as he has a huge opportunity right here next week on this program as he will be taking on the Southern States heavyweight champion, Lord Murphy Costigan. And Marty has the ability. He has the agility. He has all the skills to get the job done one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what we're going to make sure next week, that it's one-on-one. -on -one. Because right there at ringside, Daniel Richards, you're going to be sitting in a chair right beside me. And I'm going to make sure that you do not influence the outcome of that match. We have seen stuff the last couple of weeks with Bruiser Bob, Jason Blythe, and Daniel Richards and his men. And I don't know what's going on. I couldn't tell you. I don't know if there's some kind of rift between those two camps. I don't know if it's a huge setup. I don't know what is going on. But I know things are getting more interesting each and every week right here on Legacy as we get closer to the Super Summer Sizzler to kick off the summer. And that's Sunday, June the 11th at the Farmer's Market Pavilion in Kingsport, Tennessee. I'm looking forward to that big event. Hopefully we'll be getting some answers then. Next week, we're going to start telling you the card for the Super Summer Sizzler. The tickets are on sale right now through Eventbrite. Make sure you get them. It's going to be a huge night of wrestling action right there in Kingsport to kick off the summer. And we got a lot of big events coming up this summer we're going to be telling you about real soon. Until next week, God bless each and every one of you.